getting criticized at work is rather uncomfortable to say the least. In this video, we're going to look at how to grow and even benefit from that experience. Now, when you receive criticism from another person, listening is not exactly natural. We normally go into our own heads and inside our own heads, we have a voice that says, this guy is a moron. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But you should follow up that voice with a little question. And the question is, but does he actually have a point? You need to actively listen to that person and then try to find out the valid part of their criticism. It might be just what you need to hear. Sometimes receiving criticism is an absolutely golden opportunity to remain absolutely silent. You don't want to miss that opportunity. You might feel like snapping at them, giving them a clever answer and storming out dramatically, but that's never the way to go. It's often advisable to use canned answers, something like, I understand, I see, I'll take that into consideration. But the golden rule is before you answer them, cool down. Once you've cooled down and you've thought about it, it's good to go back and respond to them in some way. You could say what you intend to do to correct the situation and improve in the future. But there is a temptation that can often rear its head, and that's to go for them with some kind of passive aggressive attack. This is when something like, yes, I intend to improve, can often sound like go and take a long walk over a short pier, and you really have to develop your self-control to not make it sound like this. Also in their absence, no moaning, no gossiping, and no eye rolling. Now, this is not new philosophy. Back in the book of Proverbs, written in the 10th century BC, it says, just as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Well, to explain, imagine you have to sharpen two knives. You rub them together. And when you do that, you create friction and sparks will fly. Well, it's just the same with criticism. It's causing friction and sparks are going to fly. But you do want to be sharpened. You do want to improve. So if you want that to happen, you have to learn how to calmly welcome the criticism. There are many ways to make your working life a more positive, productive experience. To learn more, go to www.cognifit.com forward slash employee hyphen well-being. This is Brendan for Cognifit signing out. I'll see you in the next video.